All right, guys. Wise Guy Rough here, and guess what? We're playing Driving Home. One of the first few uh, horror games I'm going to play on this stream. Um, you guys probably more than likely will see this like a couple months later because I'm kind of slow at uploading. But regardless, we'll see if this game was a hit or miss. And hopefully we don't get hit by a car. But yeah, let's get started. Don't know what to expect, to be honest. It was a Thursday, November 16th. I was working late. Okay. I drove home. Yes. Am I driving? Oh, I am. Alright, so we're driving with lo-fi music vibes. I mean, that's nice. This game is using a lot of GPU, which is a surprise. God damn, these guys pulled up all the stops. So far, I'm not really scared. I don't really know how fast I'm going because the, the resolution in the game is so low. And the gas seems to be like no pointer. Well, I think actually the pointer is like down to empty. Oh, no. Yeah, don't crash. Yeah. Looks like I'm out of gas. Fantastic. I hope I can make it home before I fucking ran out of gas. Oh, no, no, no. No. What if I just walk out? Can I get outside the car already? Oh, great. Fantastic. Nothing, don't you just hate when you run out of gas because you're irresponsible? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry me a fucking river. I just wander into over here. Slender Man. You know, I don't think I personally ever played Slender Man, but I've seen gameplay of it like a long time ago when I was really popular. And that was a, a game that was very unsettling because you always you're just in a dark forest. Maybe I'll play that game again and try to win. Yeah, I might play. Depending on how well these games do and how long it takes me to beat them, I might play Slender Man. Just for old time's sake. Not that I've ever played them, but yeah. Might as well. Very cool. Something's wrong with the moon. It has like a weird slash to it, but I won't judge it too much. Okay, the house is over here. I can just ignore the house completely, but I guess I'll go here. Might as well, right? Who cares? I saw a house decide to go there and ask for help. I knocked, and no one answered the fucking door. So I decided to fuck it. Go around. There's a giant rock. We'll fucking check it out. Maybe I thought maybe I could find the telephone to call for help. Oh, great. I thought maybe the house could have some fuel in the garage. Great. What was that? God, it's so dark in the stream, ain't it? Guys, my younger brother just made a loud ass noise. Oh! That noise. Great. No power. Fantastic. Why would I go in a house without power? Eh, whatever. Oddly, oddly weird to have that thing there. The grass door was locked. I need to find the key. Okay. Paint buckets. Key's probably in the front here. No, it has to be in the bedroom. Can't open that. Sorry if you hear that, guys. <laughs> here it is. Found a key. Bye. 
my heart sank in after I opened it. <laughs> Game did not have to fucking drop the scare on me like that. Fuck me. I was not prepared for that. I didn't think they were going to do something cheesy like that. Yes, it's cheesy because they jump scared me with the soundtrack. Okay. Oh, so much for the fucking kids. Oh, they're all dead. I took the fuel kit and decided to leave as fast as possible. Someone is a cannibal here. Jeez. Of course I have to go through the back way, yeah? I don't know why not? Oh god, I scared myself opening that. I started running into my car like a madman. Yeah, well, let me check out here. Why can't I just take this car? I swear I feel like someone was following me. No, don't say that. Don't say that. Once I get to the safety car, I would feel it and then drive away. I don't know if your car is safe, buddy. Dude, now I'm seeing shit. The sh like, you see how the shadows in the bottom of the trees and the your peripheral vision is like fucking small? And like, so it looks like a... Ugh! I don't know, dude. This is creeping me out. It looks like a person, this, the shadows. Oh, no, no, stop, stop. <laughs> He's probably in my car. I don't even realize it. There's no one in my car, right? No, I don't see anything. All right, so I checked. I I checked that there's no one in the car. So that means, guess what? What does that mean? That means there should not be anyone in the car. So if I go in the car and there's someone in the car, bullshit. Just saying. All right. I see no one. I can't see anyone in there. Okay. Oh. How do I refill it? Okay. If it puts me in the car, then that's not fair. Alright. So let me check again. I checked the car. And there's no one in my car. So, with that said, there should be... Logically, there should be no one in my car. Okay, I yeah, see. Although, what is that thing in the bottom right? I, I want to check behind me. Logically, there shouldn't be anyone in my car. I'm ready getting chills. I don't like this. I checked in my car already. Just out of curiosity. If I drive it in here, is the car still there? Yeah, it's still there. I don't know. I don't like it. This creepy. That unsettles me. I will say, I feel like a lot of games seem to use this car engine sound when they're driving the car. It sounds very repetitive. I find. Fucking bitch. No one's in my car! I checked! If someone's in my car... I fucking swear. I swear, if someone's in my car... Don't fucking me. <laughs> Just check that guy. Ah, <laughs> oh, you're such a bitch, gay. You fuck yourself, dude. Fuck yourself. 
I mean... Oh, yes. That was driving home. Lord behold that I was driving somewhere, but apparently that was hell. It was, I went I went to hell. But yeah, that was driving home. That was the first driving home game I've ever played. I think that was the first horror game that involved a car, I think. Um, I don't count Lost in View because Lost in View's experience wasn't necessarily about horror, but I mean, it was a driving experience in there. But different type of experience. That was driving home.